Holy crap, guys, look what I just found. I have not seen these in stores for two years. I'm buying both of them. Let's play a game. All right, guys, today I am in Winchester, Virginia. And as you know, Virginia is for lovers. And today, that means lovers of spirit Halloween. We are at Apple Blossom Mall in Winchester, Virginia. And this spirit is in what used to be a Sears. I wonder why there is a plethora of signs all across the doors here. Last day for exchange is October 26. No large bags. Children under the age of 16 must have an adult. Last day for returns, blah, blah, blah. I do like this one, Welcome to Spirit Halloween. I wish I had one of these to go on my front door. All right, let's go ahead in, guys, and check out what it looks like at the Spirit Halloween in the old Sears at Apple Blossom Mall in Winchester, Virginia. Hello, straw man. This is a pretty decent sized store here, guys. Ooh, what is this? Haunted Tour Fundraiser Tour Brucetown's Historic Inn while learning about its haunted history. That looks pretty dang creepy. All right, we're gonna come back and say hello to our friends here in just a minute, but let's go ahead and take a walk around this store. Ooh, look at this. This is a little different setup than the other stores. I think I saw one other setup like this, and look who we have here, guys. Holy crap. What's your name, little miss? <laughs> I think I've seen her in one other store, guys. Let's see if... Oh, okay. This goes to the floating spirit up here. Okay, let's see. Maybe it's this one over here. Come on. Oh, there we go. Now we got Betty going. Mommy lets me do all the She's very quiet. You can't hear her very well, but they do have some spooky haunted candles sitting beside her. All right, we're leaving our first stickers right here in front of Betty. Let's just see if they still have the jumping spider set up behind the doors here. Come on, mister. There you go. Look, he jumped so fast. Yeah, you can tell the season is winding down, guys, because things are starting to look thin in here. We got, let's see if this is even a slim here. It is, there's a slim in that box. I thought maybe it was just the empty box because they do have a slim set up back there. Let's continue our little walk here and see if we see anything. Ooh, I like the clearance aisle. Holy crap, guys, look what I just found. I have not seen these in stores for two years. I'm buying both of them. I cannot believe I've been looking everywhere for shrunken heads for two years, and I just found two of them where I haven't found any in any other stores. I don't think these are actually part of the clearance sale right here. I think the clearance stuff is only all the Star Wars and everything on this side. But didn't I just say in the last video that I haven't been able to find much voodoo stuff in any stores this season. These are supposed to be 10 bucks a piece, so I guess I'll find out when I get up to the counter there to check out. But look at this, we have the voodoo dude here. And look at this witch doctor jewelry set. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I love that skull on there. This voodoo mask kind of reminds me of the hex spawn. See, this is why I love going to so many different stores, guys. You never know what you're gonna find. Like this too, I don't think I've ever seen the bullet belt in any other store. In every store this Hawaiian stuff sticks out at me now like a sore thumb because guys do you realize this store here in Virginia is the 48th state where I have filmed Spirit Halloweens. Next up is Alaska and Hawaii. That's what I'm talking about right there. Maybe I need to get a grass skirt. Or maybe not. Forget that idea. So anyways, here's a pretty cool skeleton. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is this over here? I don't know if I've seen this. Hold on. Let me put my shrunken heads down. Nobody touch them. Nobody touch them. <laughs> All right. What is this? Deluxe fabric banner. I don't think I've seen this before. It's a Nightmare Before Christmas banner that you string across your wall, like above your fireplace or something. That's pretty cool. They got the plush Zero here with this little pumpkin nose. And look at this. I don't, I think I've seen these in other stores, but I don't remember. The Jack Skellington light. I've seen a couple different ones of these, 
but I don't think I've seen this one. Hello, fellow. Let's leave some stickers in the cauldron. Couple of fogging skull piles here. Every time I see these, I think, man, I should buy one, and I just never do. Probably because I just want to buy everything in these stores. I want to build my own store. Do you think that would be a good idea? Another cauldron that needs stickers. Hello, swinging wit. Oh, look at this. They have the secret keeping cats spread out, so they can't tell secrets to each other. We have one there, one here, and two on the other end here, but they are far apart from each other. We also have one creeping cat and one scabs, but no carrots. They do have the ham hocks, though. I haven't seen this knife in a whole lot of stores. The Halloween 2 knife with Michael Myers face on the blade. Oh look, and they have the pumpkin skeleton on the back of the blade. I've been scouring the masks over here, but I don't see any that I have not seen before, except the saw mask, which I have seen before, but I've never really taken the time to examine, and he has some disgusting hair. You need the Aquafresh. Hello, lady. Holy crap, have I seen this inflatable Winnie the Pooh costume before? That is pretty cool. And I don't think I've seen this one either. The piglet costume. Look at what she's doing. Look at the look on her face. What the heck? Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. I think this is only the second time I've ever seen this costume. It's Frozone from The Incredibles. Let's see who they have behind him. Okay, we got a Mr. Incredible kit. That's not really the greatest one I've ever seen. Okay, there you go. That one looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of Henry Danger. Oh, here's the other lights I was talking about, guys. Friday the 13th, Jason mask. That one's pretty cool. And Pennywise. I think my favorite of all of these that I've seen though is the Friday the 13th one. All right, let's come on over and say hello to the widow. Hello, the widow. <laughs> let's say hello to the straw man. What the heck happened to his head? His head is twisted. Some idiot better not have punched him. I hope he comes back and kills him in his sleep. Oh, look, we got a dagger mic in here, but there's a sign beside him that says, Someone broke me. I hope he comes back and murders them in their sleep, too. All right, let's leave him some stickers. Spooky candles. Fabric of death. Fire of death. Hello, Grim Hand. And no Scarecrow, but we do have another Widow over here. Hello, Mr. Slim. And we have a Papa Pins over here, but he's still in his box. All right, do we have any other animatronics on the floor for sale? It doesn't look like it. Wow, they're getting pretty cleared out in here. They do still have a whole bunch of bobbleheads, though. Michael Myers up here. We got another Michael Myers here. Leatherface, Ghostface, the Corpse Bride, and Gremlins. They still got an awesome selection of plush left like this guy here and crouchy and they have one of wednesday's doll hello bouncy pennywise head i gotta check out the fleece throws whenever i come in any of these stores because you never know when there's gonna be one that i haven't seen and i think i've seen them all but maybe not this one. Say it three times, it's a Beetlejuice throw. Look at his costume, it's called Nerd Alert. Oh, here's the Dash costume. If you were looking to complete your Incredibles ensemble, here's a little Violet. Every store I've been in has had a pretty awesome selection of Disney costumes for kids, including Little Jack and Sally. Oh look, they even have Oogie Boogie. All right, let's make one more round through here, guys, and see if there's anything that we haven't seen. Here's an Armorized Batman Zero I don't think I've seen before. Fortnite 8 Ball Gold. Let's leave some stickers for Marshmallow. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. They actually have a Spirit Monopoly on the floor for sale. I thought these things were sold out long ago. Wait, I don't think we've looked at these things over here. Of course, we have all the jumping spiders over here. And then we got a whole bunch of things over here. The 55-inch floor candelabra. We got an eternal rest on the bottom. A bunch of stuffed dummy props. Pose and stay skeletons. Creepy crimson girl and empty soul girl on a swing. And I think that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I could probably walk around here and keep looking in all the cracks and crevices and see a lot of other stuff that I haven't seen. But let's leave a few more stickers out here with these guys and then I'm gonna hit the road. Couple for Michael Myers, couple for the killer clowns, and a couple for Sam. All right, guys, I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna go get my shrunken heads here. Next up, Alaska and Hawaii.